Good evening. A very good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, Parul. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. So we can start, Parul. Uh, sir, kindly allow me to share my screen. Jani. Thank you so much, sir. A very good evening to respond. Dr. Parul, please unmute yourself, please. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, respected Dr. Naveen Malhotra, sir, esteemed colleagues and dear students. Welcome to the 64th class organized by ISA. A team hold leader holds a great big responsibility to manage and take care of their teammates. A team leader manages different tasks like organizing and dividing the task among the team. They may have many difficulties and problems. Moreover, every day is like a challenge to for them. One such leader is Dr. Naveen Malhotra, sir, whose vision has led ISA to its zenith. It is our honor to have you with us today, sir. Sir needs no introduction. Still, just some humble words about him. Dr. Naveen Malhotra, our esteemed speaker today, is a senior professor and head of pain management center at PGIMS Rohtak uh, uh, of India. He is the recipient of ISA Bhopal Award for Academic Excellence in 2015 and a KPR Young Anesthesiologist National Award winner of 2009. Sir has also won Hope's Award for Trauma and Critical Care in 2001. He has more than 202 publications in various national and international journals and has given presentations at various platforms. Sir is Honorable Secretary for the Society of Anesthesiologists of SAR countries. He is also the examiner of MD and DNB exams. He is on editorial board of IJA, Journal of Anesthesia and Clinical Pharmacology, and he developed a new innovative method for submental tracheal intubation and retromolar intubation. Dr. Navin Manotra sir says that his biggest achievement is that all ISNs refer to him as our secretary, ISA National. His tenure has been characterized by innovative ideas, strategic thinking, and tireless efforts to increase the credibility and visibility of ISA at not only national platforms, but also internationally. Sir spearheaded 22 programs for ISA platforms, namely Family Benevolent Fund, Art, Sports, Culture and Literary Clubs, and he has been actively pursuing these PG online classes. He strongly believes that our young anesthetists are hope of tomorrow and has started so many activities for them, like UVACON, UVA session, and in various conferences. Now, without taking any more time and standing between you and sir, may I request sir to please uh, give us his words of wisdom and guide the young ones. Thank you so much. I request you all to uh, mute yourself while the lecture is going on. You might post your questions in the chat box and which will be taken up by sir at the end of the session. Thank you so much. Thank you, Parul, for uh, such a nice uh, introduction. I'm humbled by the same. And uh, welcome all to the ISA online uh, PG classes. Uh, there is, these are the series of three classes which we are doing. Uh, last Monday was on communication skills. Today, we are talking about team size. And next Monday, we shall be talking about organ donation, what wonders our postgraduates can do. And then we'll definitely have a break on Diwali on 24th. So right now we are in midst of activities going across the country in which team ISA is working together. In almost all the 200 branches across the country, the flame of ISA is going and is touring the different cities and lighting the spark of ISA in the hearts of our anesthesiologists. And with the public awareness program, know about anesthesia, know your anesthesiologist. So we thought, why not we share the concept of team science with all of us. I bring with myself greetings from ISA National Headquarters, 
and I'm very happy and humbled for the love and affection showered as calling me your own secretary, ISA National. It has been rightly said for the team that coming together is a beginning, staying together is progress, and working together is success. And we firmly believe in this principle. You come together, you stay together and work together, success is bound to be there. Because if everyone is moving forward together, then success will take care of itself. Success is guaranteed. There is no doubt that your team won't succeed. It will succeed for sure, 100%. But for successful outcome of any team, there are both technical and non-technical skills, which are important. And during our post-graduation, we are taught more about technical skills and less about the non-technical one, which includes the teamwork, attitude, passion, and respect for the team members, appreciating them, knowing their capabilities, as well as limitations. But these have to be integrated in our day-to-day -day work life, how to work as a team, both clinically as well as non-clinically, like group private practice, that has to be taken care. There are three mantras of life for success of any team, and that includes, first and foremost, honesty. It is the first chapter in the book of wisdom. I vividly remember in fifth class, there was a chapter, honesty is the best policy. With time, things have changed. It has become more materialistic, more consumerism. But I say, some changes have occurred. But at the end of the day, what changes have occurred is, earlier it was honesty is the best policy. And now the dictum is, honesty is always the best policy. The second is sincerity. The secret of success is sincerity. You have to be sincere in your work, whatever you do. Whatever you do, it has to be your best possible effort. Success is sweet, but the secret is sweat. You have to sweat it out. You have to burn the midnight oil and work very hard to succeed in the life. So the three mantras are hard work, sincerity, and honesty. Because if you want to shine like a sun, you have to first burn like a sun. What are the different aspects of team science? Maybe as a doctor, maybe as a team leader, understanding patients' problem or understanding functioning of a team, the team performance pillars, and learning from other fields. We'll discuss each of them individually. COVID-19 pandemic had shown us how a teamwork is important to overcome any problem. And each member of the team is important. We all have seen during the COVID pandemic, may it be any worker, clinician down to the mortuary staff, all are equally important for success of the team. And COVID-19 has really proven that we are living and working in an interdependent world. We all are interly, interrelated and interdependent upon each other. We all know this COVID-19 pandemic spider network from WHO down to the district hospital, there was a good communication. And we firmly believe that the communication from the national headquarters to the state bodies, to the city bodies, down to the individual members should percolate immediately, rapidly and fast. Maybe through website, through email, through social media, so and so forth. These are the team performance pillars, psychological safety, transactive memory, leadership, communication, mutual trust, accountability, coordination, and cohesive decision making. We'll briefly discuss each of them in briefly. Psychological safety in any working atmosphere is important. There should not be any fear of shame and blame. If there is an unsafe climate, then your juniors, your team members won't report the adverse events or their misgivings or shortcomings to you. So it has to be 
a very very safe environment in the in your team and that comes between very thin line between arrogance and confidence confidence is good but arrogance will have corrosive effect on the morale of your team and you should be confident of handling your team but at the same time being humble and not arrogant communication a cup of tea reduces unprofessional behavior i can tell you that we at times keep on chatting so much on whatsapp 1 hour 2 hour 3 hour midnight one day even if we instead if we call the matter is resolved in 2 minutes so we have to interact with each other and listen to each other and best ways talk to each other spring spring is very very important in our life it's the rule of nature also that for reproduction fertility you have to have a congenial atmosphere you have to have a spring in your life so have that spring in your team that environment should be there which should be favorable for productive outcome and this is for the leaders believe you can and you are half way there believe that your team can do it and that means your team has done half the work second important pillar is orientation the transactive memory we all know that our five fingers are not equal how can our team members be equal they may be with different competencies and weakness and they need some time to tune with the other team members with the other aspects of the team working like in covid pandemic i give you an example everybody was working in icu whether it was a resident from anesthesia pulmonary medicine general medicine other specialties plus icu orientation special during the covid pandemic second wave but they needed some time they were helping with the less severe jobs an acme resident was helping with paper work and anesthesia resident was taking care of the ventilatory management but they were all working together but at the same time this is important there may be different members of the team some are those who work and want to get noticed fine you are working you want some sort of notification some work and don't want to get noticed at all silent diligent workers some do not work fine but support others below that are the destructive one they do not work and obstruct others they should not be part of the team members some do not work and but pretend and show that they work and some do not work at all in spite of being told so you have to take care of your team members very very nicely so that your team gives up effective and productive outcome in a timely manner my mantra is work hard in silence let success makes the noise third leadership gone are the days of directive or autocratic leadership commonly it's democratic but preferably it should be transformational only autocratic is required in cases of crisis one way suppose the cardiac arrest has occurred or some crisis has occurred so you know this is the solution just ask your team members to do it in this particular manner otherwise it is usually consensus driven but transformation is better in because in this you give a responsibility to your team member he takes the decision and at that same time he owns his work as well as he is accountable for his actions and deeds so we should move from democratic to transformational now and give responsibilities to different team members communication as i was told me telling you communication is key to success in any team and there can be both horizontal as well as vertical failure in communication a very communication in icu you go you see that this patient doesn't looks nice on ventilator you say okay get an abg sample done how it can be where can there can be communication breach the resident fails to take the sample or he takes the sample the sister forgets to send it to the lab or it has been sent to the lab but the report has not been collected or seen on the cr system or report has been collected but not interpreted if it is interpreted it was ordered that change the ventilatory settings or give soda backer but that has not been done so there can be breach of communication horizontally as well as, as well as vertically 
maintain communication with your with your team regularly continuously it is the most effective and efficient means of and generating trust in your team and also it is not just about what we say but rather far more important is how we say it and most important is how it is interpreted by your team members so ensure that your team members you say it properly the team members understands them and x on your communication it is the way we perceive our patients feelings or our team members feelings beyond their words and how we on the basis of questions we ask them it is the way we relate to the patient's family clinical staff and the organization in which we work fifth component is mutual trust to be trusted is the greatest compliment than to be loved if somebody loves you you are blessed but if somebody trusts you that is the best compliment you have that you are believing in the association in the individual about the reliability truth and ability that they will do what is right deliver what is promised and will be same every time whatever the circumstances may be so that is the trust which you should have in your team members and your team members should have on the leadership similarly patient and clinical relationship also and trust never results from a single interaction it is built over time with repeated interactions through which expectations about a person's trustworthiness can be tested and similarly as our clinical doctor relationship with the patients the more the number of time we interact with the patients the more the patients start trusting us getting to know about our interpersonal attributes and values and we are the anesthesiologist our interaction with the patients is most most commonly in during psc during post op visits icus covid icus uh, for the counseling sessions and pain clinic opds so my suggestion to the residents and other colleagues is do psc in clinics not on not on table psc the consultant should sit in the psc clinic with a name plate and apron with the name you should put your stamp on the psc form and you should be properly dressed and never ever work on mobile phone by sitting in the psc clinic or pain clinic post op visits for acute pain management are not very regular few institutes have uh, acute pain services team but we rem remember this thing that we are living in a give and take relationship you give pain relief to the patient and you win the trust of the patient so that is most most important and uh, definitely icu is another important field where we can interact with the patient attendants and uh, uh, during the briefings counseling sessions or when we break the bad news pain clinic opd is a wonderful uh, scenario where there is a direct interaction with the patients and their attendants it is a regular interactions because chronic pain patients visit pain clinics multiple times but this was on a lighter note uh, covid has changed that also during uh, now most of the time mask is on and uh, that face to face recognition is slightly decrease uh, the the eye to eye contact the, the patients remember you by your eyes and your tone but uh, definitely hopefully this mask will also go off in due course of time also about trust between the clinicians competency of anesthesiologist is best known to the surgeons and vice versa except some patients would tell them that next time whenever you go for anesthesia do tell your anesthesiologist about difficult airway in previous surgery or drug allergies or when they had labor and these they do remember your anesthesiologist so we should build a trust that if patient is cured the patient should say doctors are god but suppose some adverse events also occurs then also patient should say doctors are god it was my misfortune that should be the trust on the medical system that should be a trust on the doctors and that should be trust on the team members sixth is accountability accountability is important as i was telling you should be psychologically safe and have good uh, team but you should be accountable for your towards the team members that you have to perform perform in a good manner and perform in a timely manner so traits of a good doctor some for some it is a worry a care and a perpetual annoyance but from others it is a field of happiness and usefulness a good doctor should be able to observe record tabulate and communicate 
use these are our five senses be transparent and informative be honest be confident and caring be competent in knowledge social and communication skills and he should show respect to his team members to his patients and their attendants and it is commonly said and rightly said if you want to be successful you have to be willing to disappear for a while if you think you are lacking in one particular skill go and do a other worship go take a training do a fellowship do a short course come back and start again with the band respect and care is very very important never do someone what you wouldn't want anyone to do to you always remember this line that if somebody does or says anything to you if you feel hurt then do not do the same thing to anyone and it is much more important to know what sort of a patient has a disease rather than what sort of a disease a patient has we are going to treat the patient rather than the disease because good doctor treats the disease the great doctor treats the patient who has the disease another important thing is integrity in your team you always look for three characters three qualities in your team members integrity intelligence and energy and if your team member does not have integrity loyalty faith honesty then it will kill the intelligence and energy so always always have your team members who have got impeccable integrity who are loyal to the system who are totally committed to the team next important is time factor and because we should do the team team work in best possible manner but do it in the timely manner also cohesive decision making it is important nowadays because one problem we have got different solutions we have to weigh the benefit and risk ratio and then subsequently decide okay this is the best possible scenario and we have to take this decision i'll give you one good old lessons from our bedside stories i'm 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 sure most of us would have remembered this story the tortoise and the rabbit it has the moral slow and steady wins the race and uh, because we knew that there was a race between tortoise and rabbit rabbit was fast so in between he said okay tortoise will take some time it is that under a tree and he felt asleep and tortoise being slow and steady won the race but suppose rabbit was alert and aware of the fact that he should not sleep he was fast and persistent then what would happen rabbit would have been won and if in the race there was a run away a river then what would happen that was a situational thing then tortoise would have swam through the river and won definitely so there is a new version of the story argument versus agreement you should not argue but agree so this is the part of the journey and this is the goal there is a land river and the land so can we have a another version another moral of the story first one was tortoise one first time because being slow and steady second race was run by one by rabbit being fast and persistent and third was again one by tortoise being situational because there was a river in between fourth is can it be a win win situation for both win win situation for all the team members yes best performance is when rivals work together this is the first one on the land rabbit is carrying the tortoise in his back and moving fast when there is river rabbit is on the back of the tortoise and tortoise is swimming through the river and again the tortoise in the back of the rabbit and they are near the goal in best possible manner timely manner quick manner and they both have won this is the one win win situation for everybody the moral of story is it is good to be individually brilliant and to have strong core competencies but unless you are able to work in a team and harness each other's core competencies you will always perform below par you will always perform below par because there will be always be some situations at which you will do poorly and someone else will do very very nicely so work together in the team
the strength of each team is each individual members and the strength of each member is the team that is the moral second aspect is we should learn from other professions also we have learned about the pillars of the team work but we should learn from other professions also how the aviation industry sports industry war river rafting music orchestra they all work in symphony so these are our team performance pillars to recapitulate psychological safety transactive memory leadership communication mutual trust accountability coordination and cohesive decision making the truth is that the team work is at the heart of great achievement and success is best when it is shared you have to share your success with your state branches your city branches and your individual members a leader is one who knows the way who goes the way and shows the way the key to successful leadership is influence not authority you should not influence everyone by your authority that i am in so position no you should lead by influence influence of your actions and your deeds as it has been rightly said that leaders don't create followers they create more leaders and most importantly there is no success without a successor there is no success without a successor if you are successful you have to have a good successor also a politician thinks of the next elections a statesman thinks of the next generation so that is the importance of the good successor to conclude we always do better if we work together in a family atmosphere in most congenial and coordinated way there should be no blame and shame game in your team and there should be effective communication there are three mantras to hard work uh, to success honesty sincerity and hard work first we are doctors we are clinicians we are meant for patients we are meant to treat them to alleviate their sufferings and we should do all our work properly the teaching training and research for which we are meant and then definitely we should work for the associations also for social cause also we should follow this build stronger teams to serve patients and society we in require stronger teams to for the better better patient care for better functioning of the society better functioning of the associations also we have not lost faith but we have transferred it from god to the medical profession we all have been through the covid crisis some of us were admitted in icu also we were short of breath when you are in difficulty blessings of patients parents and family protect you and i can definitely say that if you work for the patients their blessings will tide over the biggest crisis of your life take my word if you want if you feel that something has to be done and you deserve that thing and it is not being done write it on a piece of paper serve the patients with full sincerity with your best possible competencies within 6 months you will get that job done that is the power of the blessings of the patients serve your parents and be good parent also and be a good family man all these blessings and good wishes will will help you and protect you for the team it is easy to dissociate but difficult to associate it is very very easy to dissociate but we have to understand that in union there is strength united we stand divided we fall so listen to your team members at times you have to ignore their aspirations ambitions selfishness but try to keep the flock together for the team to succeed in your mission you must have a single minded devotion to your goal think what you want day night and you will get it the only requirement is that your intention should be good your intent if your intent is good results will be good as it has been rightly said that excellence is a continuous process not an accident so you keep on working and you're bound to succeed you're bound to do well in life and finally success isn't about what you accomplish in your life success isn't about what you accomplish in your life it's about what you inspire others to do and i conclude by saying samne ho manzil to rasta na modna samne ho manzil 
तो रास्ता ना मोड़ना जो मन में हो खाब उसे मत तोड़ना हर कदम पे मिलेगी कामयाबी तुम्हें हर कदम पे मिलेगी कामयाबी तुम्हें बस सितारों को छूने के लिए कभी जमीन को ना छोड़ना कभी जमीन को ना छोड़ना अम्बल थैंक्स टू ऑल माई टीचर्स एंड पेरेंट्स विद दिस बिकॉज ऑफ देयर ब्लेसिंग्स आई एम सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट टीम साइंस थैंक यू वेरी मच thank you so much sir it is always an honor and a privilege to hear your inspiring words thank you so much for sharing your pearls of wisdom and without doubt our young anesthetist must have been inspired by integrity towards isa intelligence and energy sir thank you so much once again uh, i think your talk was so mesmerizing we do not have any questions people forgot to post their questions so they can unmute themselves and if they want to ask something directly to sir please go ahead so can i ask you some uh, now everybody can unmute jump yes parul this is a topic in which i think there will be more uh, comments and discussions yes parul please go ahead sir i would re i really want to know what how do you have so much of energy where do you get all these innovative ideas from i mean you i have seen you working like less than 2 hours of sleep and you are still uh, uh, fresh and you have these prepping ideas in your mind how do you have so much of energy please don't say it is team work because it is entirely your vision i have seen uh, thank you dr parul for the comment yes uh, one of my teachers had said that enjoy what you do so i am enjoying what i am doing i am not taking it as it is my work but it is my passion and that gives me energy the positive vibes from the team members that gives energy the blessings of the parents your better half family is very very important i always say one should have a good family which supports you and once you are not at home takes care of the kids also your parents also all these inspire the blessings and all things so that gives you energy also about the ideas how we get innovative ideas uh i have read in my childhood about brahm brahm uh, mahurat so that is somewhere yes, around 4:30 5 o'clock in the morning and usually i get ideas in the morning i am early riser whatever time i sleep but so some idea come in the morning i'll just note it down and while doing morning puja if same idea comes again while doing puja so it is rightly said once you are doing puja you should focus only in uh, praying to god but suppose that idea comes during that time also so i think now this is god signal to make it as an agenda and then i put it as an agenda i come in the gc meeting and get it approved because this has got the yes of god also so this program will be fine like this isa flame which is going around the country we were just in shillong sitting together and one of my elder brother dr sunil sethi i said to him boss koi idea do give us some idea about some good flame ceremony which should be there and he said ke navin aisa kar sakte hain but and then we forgot about it suddenly uh, one day in the early morning i had that same same idea ke this thought was given and then i started working over it discussed with all of the team members and the result is in front of you you do the things with the best possible intent in the best possible manner results are bound to be good and uh, it is for everybody to see that yes today we are in midst of platinum jubilee celebrations and all across the country the team is is working simple daily we are seeing in our whatsapp and this thing all across the country the activities are going on so i will again say the tribute and whole credit is to the team is not on any individual it is the team work which is at the core to the success of any so you deserve a standing ovation but unfortunately we are on a zoom meeting but <laughs> applause and applause and applause for you so there's a question by dr dk shrivastav uh, dr dk shrivastav you can unmute yourself and ask sir what you want to ask him hello i just want to congratulate yes, dr shrivastav you are audible yeah so i just want to congratulate uh, davin 
his colleague we have started uh, i say activities way back many year back and uh, he has achieved something congress that's all thank you dr shrivastav sir is past president of isa haryana and uh, yes i still remember 2006 uh isa haryana secretary i took over and uh, sir and other dr cv singh used to say that you should be lifetime secretary we can uh, please take care of my family also and uh, lifetime secretary of isa haryana and uh, uh, because i i i was an institute but i used to, uh, my my heart is for the private practitioners i work in institute but i understand the limitations and uh, the positive as well as the, uh, some limiting limitation effects of the private practice thank you shrivastav for those kind words okay uh, dr I... atul purohit would like to ask you something sir dr atul you can unmute yourself please uh yes dr parul thank you very much for this opportunity i just want to congratulate uh, our, our own secretary dr navin malhotra for having attained and achieved all this and just one small comment about whatever is happening uh, a very simple sentence would be that isa was never never that active and that productive it is not act- the only activity it is a productive activity that we are seeing the involvement of everybody every city branch every state branch everywhere 75 years the amrit mahotsav not only of this country but isa also has been celebrated with a full fervor and vigor and i must congratulate the central secretariat and secretary sahab for this sir hope to see you on 14th and 15th this uh, this month and i am looking forward to it uh, thank you so much for all this thank you thanks that's all thank you dr we have doctor uh, sir we have dr agnutri sir with us sir please <laughs> thank you dr navin congratulations for your wonderful lecture today i realize what my professor used to teach me dr w p thatte read read and read till book will get exhausted padho padho aur padho jab tak kitabe na thak jaye there is no end of the journey hence what today you have tried to teach the pg in the pg lecture aina dikhaya hai unko zindagi kis tarah chalegi waqt aayega jab wo khud dusron ko aina dikhayenge how the progress will continue in the life of the person is important so guru shishya parampara you have just revoked again and i wish a great success of your performance and great success of 75th anniversary of isa god bless long live isa thank you very much for your wonderful illustration and explanation i was thinking of my past when i was supposed to be a teacher but i turned out to be more a teacher than teacher after your lecture <laughs> thank you very much thank you god bless you thank you uh, sir uh, thank you very much uh, for those kind words and blessings uh, your words mean a lot and yes sir uh, there is no end to learning and we have to train our next generation also thank you for those kind words sir and we always look upon you post graduation means you are a future teacher yes fundamental so that's why the degree is awarded master means continue the teaching others that is the fund of my teacher definitely sir definitely so once you are post graduate you are master for the future generation always do the post graduation keeping all this mind you have to keep the next generation alive that is the fund of the life and post graduation thank you sir thank you wonderful wonderful thank you, thank you. and uh, dr uh, atul purohit thank you for those kind words and yes we look upon to welcoming you all on 14th and 15th at the gurugram uh, haryana where we will be uh, all the flames will be coming and we should be doing a walkathon on kartavya path followed by uh, our platinum jubilee formal functions releases releases of the postal cover and uh, along with we have got yuva con also and haryana con also uh, welcome to all the uh, distinguished uh, delegates there uh, thank, thank you dr for for those kind words thank you sir with your permission shall we close the session today and you can ask uh, I, i can see uh, dr call and if somebody else is interested in interacting
then definitely we can. So, call sir, would you like to add something to what has been said? Sir, kindly you. unmute yourself. Call sir, kindly unmute yourself. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, sir. So many learned speakers have all the great stalwarts of the ISA have already spoken about. I would only say, I know Dr. Naveen for the last almost two and a half decades. He has grown into an institution in himself. Whatever he determines, he does it. Whatever lecture he spoke today, whatever he spoke today, it is a journey of Dr. Naveen himself. He is not satisfied only by becoming a leader, but by ensuring that hundreds of leaders are there after him. They will follow him. I remember when there was the COVID, when COVID started and there was lockdown, I put a photograph of Naveen on my Facebook saying that it will be after decades that Naveen will be at home for more than three months. <laughs> Which was appreciated not by him, but by his wife also. She said, yes, this is a fact. This is the first time that Naveen has been at home. Otherwise, he has been so hectic and moving that every weekend or every other day he is out of station. He is a great human being. He is a great friend. He is a philosopher. He is a guide. He is a superhuman being. I love him a lot. I love him more than a brother. He is my, my own creation. God bless him and God bless his family. Long live I say. Thank you. Thank you for giving me a chance to speak. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm humbled for those words and blessings. So nice of you, sir. Thank you very much. D Dr. Parul, ma'am, can I speak to sir for a minute? Yeah, sir, sure. If you allow me. Please. Sir, I would like to first of all thank you for, for giving us all the uh, junior faculty, I mean, the upcoming anesthesiologists, a platform at every, every conference and everywhere. We get a chance to speak about the ideas and perform in our fraternity make our mark and we you are mentor to so many so many of us as ma'am rightly said that it is always a bliss to listen to you i mean we just cannot avoid even a single moment of your talks and the most important thing sir that isa flame it's such a nice idea that it has ignited spark about anesthesiology not only amongst anesthesiologists but in other fraternities also now people also know that that we are we are not behind the curtains, but in front of the curtains. So thank you so much, sir, for giving us all this platform and bringing anesthesiology to a much, much eminent height, sir. Thank you, Naveen Nurusra, sir. Thank you, Dr. Devya. And I'm very sure that uh, all of you uh, youngsters and the future generation will carry it forward in the best possible manner. Good thank evening, you. sir. Uh, Dr. Ankur here. Good evening, Parul, ma'am. Good evening, sir. Uh, Good evening, Ankur. Been, uh, I finished my duty at 4.40. So I am still in the department. I, I wanted to attend this lecture, could not miss it. So much of encouraging and motivating words, not only by his speech, it's always visible by his actions. Uh, I was not very much into ISA. I was always working for ISNEC uh, because I am a core committee member. But the way he has given chances to the youth, it's it's amazing. Matlab, I am I am developing so much of interest in ISA activities of, of late, especially in the last one point five or two years. Uh, all because of uh, Naveen sir and his entire secretariat uh, taking into account the the creation of the new generation, the youths, especially focusing on the youths. So hats off to you, uh, Naveen sir. Jitna bolu kam hai. So uh, truly, you are a true leader. This is you have taken a ISA to a new benchmark. Up to next time, it it they will find it really very very difficult to to check that benchmark. 
Thank you so much, sir, for all the opportunities and for all the blessings. And Long live I say. Thank you, doctor. Sir, Ankur has echoed one, whatever one, we all want to say. And one, one Ankur more. Ankur has some beautifully okay. summarized what H one wants to say. And one today. more thing, just just because ke hamara ye motto tha is baat theme tha ke know your anest know your know about anesthesia know your anesthesiologist. Right now we are only three faculty members in the department. But still, I I discussed with the rest uh, two of my faculty members that 16th October we will do something, and we have released our flyers and we have invited the entire university to celebrate the World Anesthesia Day in Ames, Guwahati, and including we have invited a couple of guest of honors for that occasion. We will be sharing our flyers in a couple of days, two to three days, and today in uh, Twitter also I shared. A few lines or no about anesthesia, no anes, and it's being retweeted like anything. So, again, it's a Navin sir's idea. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. Artist, congratulations, Ankur, for the, that uh, uh, public awareness program. And I'm very sure your uh, event on 16th will be also successful. Thank you for those good words. And yes, there is opportunity abound for everyone in ISC. You want anything. There is a platform for each and every one. Definitely, we are a body which is dedicated to academics, clinical, and research. But we have got lots and lots of member welfare programs also. So anybody who wants to join ISA, there is a. I always say this line that there are opportunities abound for everyone. Sir, uh, may I share with you? The chat box is filled with the uh, praises for you. Just to share a few of them. Uh, so much of encouraging, motivating words. A true leader, a gem of a person. Dr. Rekha Sulanki says, "A great motivational teacher and a true leader." Thank you so much, sir. She says. So, anybody uh, who would like to add to what has been said, Dr. Nishant, sir, हम लोग तो इतने भावे भोर हो गए थे ना आज कि हम लोगों को समझ ही नहीं आ रहा था कि हम क्या बोलेंगे, क्या नहीं बोल पाएंगे. So, Nishant, over to you. I think Nishant has got some uh, audio. So I think his uh, connection is unstable. I guess. Uh, yeah, he's there, sir. You are not audible, Nishant. Nishant, you are not audible. Unmute yourself. Hello. Yeah. I am Dr. Pradeep Agarwal, Prayagraj. I am calling from Pune. नमस्कार सर नवीन ने जो शुरुआत की है बहुत ही अच्छा किया है और आई एम सिक्सटी एट नाउ बट आई एम रेगुलरली आई ट्राई टू हियर दीज क्लासेस एंड कुछ ना कुछ मुझे ज्ञात होता है एंड पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ डॉक्टर नवीन इज वेरी गुड दैट I find very good his smiling face, and that uh, encourages us. So I want to thank thank uh, Dr. Naveen. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for his, those, his last session uh, was very good, Dr. Noyor, an anesthesiologist, and I also always try to meet the people's pre-operative and post-operative. Last time I. Posted his um, program in um, Facebook too. To uh, aware our my friends about anesthesia. What we do. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So I thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you, sir. Finally, I uh, conclude from my side that we are ISCs, not because we are in ISA, but because ISA is in us. Long live ISA! Jai ISA! Long live ISA! Jai Hind! Long live ISA! Jai Hind! Thank you. Jai ISA! Jai Hind! Long live ISA! Jai Hind! Long live ISA! Long live ISA! Long live ISA! Long live ISA! Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Thank you Goodbye, so much, sir, sir for your you, sharing your wisdom.